Hi, and welcome to this episode of The Mitchell File. I'm your host, Roosevelt Mitchell III. So the question of the day is this. Is the Russian face agent app a danger to your privacy? After going viral in 2017 and amassing more than 80 million active users, it's blowing up again thanks to the so-called face app challenge where celebs and everyone else have been adding years to their life with the age old age filter. See, even I used it yesterday, even though I think it makes me look like I'll be selling loose cigarettes in the future, but nonetheless, it was fun participating inside the challenge. Now, various articles and people on the internet panicked a little due to a tweet from a developer that warned that the app could be taking all of the photos from your phone and uploading them to its servers without obvious permission from you as the user. The tweeter, Joshua Nazi, said later he was just trying to raise a flag about Face App having access to all photos, even if it was not uploading them to a server uploaded by the Russian company. A French cyber security expert downloaded the app himself and checked where it was sending users' faces. He found that the Face App only took submitted photos, those that you want to uh, transform back to the company server, which is not located in Russia, but located in Amazon data centers, data centers in the US. What's interesting to me is the fact that articles are written and shared on platforms such as Facebook, which has had several breaches of privacy and data. And if Russia could hack an entire election, then they don't need an app to get to your photos. All they need is Facebook, Instagram, your passport, your driver's license, or whatever else social media platform that you are on. So, it's funny to me. But anyway, I would love to hear what you think about this, so please leave a comment in the section below. And until next time, my friends, be blessed and be encouraged.